wake up every day and do something that makes you feel alive. Do something that makes you feel that passion, that energy every single day. For me and Whitney, one of the things we love to do, and I'm sure everybody who watches our channel has seen it, is going hiking. And I mean like super early in the morning, waking up at five, five thirty, or six o'clock and just getting out here when the streets are clear, nobody's out here and going up the mountain, man, just like doing it. I'm out right now in Vija de Leyva, going to do the hike that's nearby. And, uh, we're in the plaza. We got a whole bunch of plants and stuff set up right now. It's pretty sweet. Sweet. Um, I'm not gonna buy any plants, but I do like plants. It's pretty cool. This is what it looks like after uh, after the weekend here, because it's Monday. There's so many bottles and trash everywhere, and the people are cleaning early in the morning. It's kind of it's kind of gross that people trash the place that much. Actually, this huge, huge plaza out here. But yeah, what I'm trying to say here is that uh, there are 13 things that I've kind of narrowed down to that most people need in their life daily or weekly or very frequently. And one of those, the one I'm talking about today, is play. Like people have forgotten how to release their inner child or as you become an adult, you kind of have to t take care of the normal responsibilities of life and you forget how to release your inner child and you forget how to play. You forget to how to participate in your, what I call passion activities. You forget how to be creative and do something that brings that energy in your life, whatever it is. It can be sports, it can be music, it can be art. It can be climbing up a mountain. It can literally just be running around on a playground, like literally. Um, but people have forgotten that. People have forgotten this beautiful art of just living life, which is doing something that is related to your passions. Scared Woody? <laughs> Woody's not a fan of the pigeons flying around you. Actually, I'm not sure. Sloppy in the face. <laughs> a pigeon slap? Isn't that like a Pokemon move? It is. It's nasty. It's disgusting. Already by this point in time, I'm starting to feel like the surge of energy. Um, it just feels great. It's about 6.30 at this point. Uh, the sun hasn't quite gotten over this mountain and I just feel like today's already made. It's beautiful. There's the hike that we're going to. I'm going to zoom in here. So we're going to go all the way up there and there's a little uh, Jesus, Jesus statue basically. When you made a friend already? I'm in very Hey buddy, come on us. We're gonna name our little friend Perrito. No perrito, perrito. 
is gonna be my first hike after I sprained my ankle. Are you gonna actually do it? I am gonna try. <laughs> At this point in time, it's been about a month since Whitney sprained her foot really, really bad, and she hasn't really been on a hike. Um, I've only been on one since. Uh, I've been starving for one. And Whitney says she's gonna do it today. So I'm I'm expecting those foot to be swollen by the end of the day. It's gonna be good. <laughs> All right. There's so many dogs here right now. There's so many dogs. <laughs> dogs everywhere. The most appropriate hiking shoes. So let me get back to what I was saying today. Passion activities, creativity, playfulness. That is one of the things I'm building in this general philosophy guide thing of living just like a good quality life. And it gets dangerous when you forget, when you forget how to play uh, because you lose like your identity to yourself. I think many people end up creating an identity with their jobs, with all the responsibilities in their life. Um, and they forget about the identity that they had when they were a child and how they felt when they would just wake up and go running. I mean, if you spend time around children, um, which Whitney and I do, you know, we don't have children of our own, but we do spend time around other children. And it's like just the amount of playfulness that they have, curiosity, wanting to do things. Um, that's something that should never leave you until the day you die. And we sincerely believe that. So for us, that looks like going up this mountain. Here I go. Vlogging on the trail is sometimes difficult because I have to walk on this crazy terrain. So I'm looking at the camera, right? Like, and I feel like I'm gonna trip. I probably will, but uh, yeah, I talk for a moment and then I have to like run and catch up. So now I'm, I've just started and running out of breath. So what does it mean to be playful, curious, and passionate? To me, it means to feed your inner child and just be playful, not take everything so seriously. If you see a puddle on a day where you don't have anything important to do, go jump on the puddle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it means being like super pressing with my brother and since he's the only kid around, I can act like a kid sometimes too because um, you know he needs that and I needed to to feed my soul. brisk like it's like 60 degrees out so your passion activities your playfulness, your curiosity, your fun, those things, they come in different shapes, different sizes. I mean, I said it earlier, it could be music, art, playing a sport, tennis, football, whatever. Um, you can't stop doing those things. And you're just gonna lose yourself. And that's the last thing you really want is to lose who you are and makes you feel alive. And I get it, man, Adult, adulting's tough. 
adulting stuff, you know, I still have to wake up and do the whole corporate American job myself. Same with Whitney. Um, we're not always able to get out and do this thing every day, um, but we replace it for other things we find fun, like hitting the gym every morning um, and just making sure that we take time for ourselves. Uh, again, you don't do these things, you'll begin to lose yourself. We've hit the seven o'clock hour and the sun still has like, like white peaked over this mountain, but it's gonna be spectacular when it does. Um, I feel alive, y'all. I just feel alive. So you might want to know about Whitney's foot. So she was walking down a street and there was a car stopped like blocking her way. So she stepped to the side and uh, kind of stepped off the curve and then she just totally fell. I wasn't there, um, but man, she got a level two sprain just falling on her foot. And I'm like, we're over here like walking this crazy terrain, all these different rocks and stuff. And when you're just walking down a normal street and sprains her foot pretty bad. So I'm pretty proud of her doing this hike right now. Show me those Whitney feet, Whitney feet, Whitney feet. Show me, show me, show me. Oof, oof, oof. Wiggle it, wiggle it. I must. Carritos. Uy, 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 no, 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 no. Come and see. Pueblo de Villa del Levo. It's que lindo. It's really pretty. The town of Villa del Cencio. As usual, the view gets better the higher you go up. So you just gotta do it. So Whitney, when you are not participating in your playfulness, your passion activities, all of that, how's it feel? I feel depressed, contained. I feel like I have to grow up too fast <laughs> 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 to my age. I feel like I have to uh, refrain myself and not express myself. Um, it feels lonely and sad. How do you feel right now? I feel great. I love this. <laughs> Buenos dias, perrito. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Uy. to the, the Jesus statue that's looking over Fiji de Leva. And I think we're gonna spend some time up here and just appreciate the view. This is my friend. He was my helper throughout my first hike with my sprained ankle and I made it. Gracias, perito. Como se dice? Thank you. And perito. Woof, woof. The sun is now starting to peak over the mountain and really just brightening the day, like literally. This whole mountain range, most of it is protected, so we can't go up any further. Otherwise I would, I'd be like way up there already. Um, but this is as far as we can go and still fantastic. So that's it for today. I just wanted to spread this positive message that, you know, you gotta wake up every week very frequently do the things that bring energy and life back into your life don't forget about it don't lose your identity 
keep that inner child and live, live your life. Peace out, y'all. Let my people go. Let my people party. <laughs> Free the town. Open the waters. I want to do my push ups here. Oh, here. Oh. I recorded that just in time for Diego. You can do your push ups. <laughs> push ups. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Diez. Dos. Tres. Cuatro, seis, cinco, seis, siete. I feel a pump. I feel a pump after doing my push-ups. Had a uh, perrito follow us up the mountain and all the way down to the restaurant that we're in. But it came and sat down at the restaurant by the table. And now we have to say bye to him. But the owners, the owners are saying that the dog might bite somebody and then they... No, they're not saying that. I'm just like... Oh, that's the most chill dog happens? ever. <laughs> what if something happens and then we are responsible? What if something happens? Like that dog is just sad for the rest of his life. Just take it with the dog. He came back all the way tried to get rid of him. last thing to vlog here this dog followed us all the way up the mountain down the mountain we came and sat at us at breakfast here at Tuska and uh, we had to shoo it out out of the restaurant and um, now he's still following us he's still following us and we feel bad because we want to keep it because he seems such a chill dog a nice dog and this is how you end up having a bunch of stray animals take over your house Perito, ciao.